Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to do is install create react app with TypeScript. So npx create react app. And then the name of the app is going to be the hotel dashboard. And I'm going to add the TypeScript template on. So a dash dash template of TypeScript. And now press enter. So whilst that's installing, we're not going to use any sort of styled package. I'm not going to focus on that in today's build. I will be providing the CSS for this and this will be available in the index.css file. So all we will be doing today is concentrating on our build and connecting to Firebase. We will be focusing on the CRUD methods and how to connect Firebase. These will be the create, read, update and delete methods. So that's what we will be doing in our hotel build. The aim of this project is so that we get familiar with these methods and also be able to manage our hotels with React. So now that we have the project set up, if we go into our source folder, we just need to do some configuration with this. So first off, we don't need the app.css. So I'm just going to delete that file and we won't be focusing on the unit tests again today. So I'm going to delete that also and also the logo SVG. So delete that. So if I go into my index.css, I'm just going to bring in my styles and you can look at this later on in the repo. So if I just paste them in, we have a list of styles on there. So we will be using class names in our JSX. So in app.tsx, we want to first of all, delete everything within here. And then I'm just going to render a H1 saying hotel app like so. And if I save, and we also need to run npm start. So I'll just bring that in here so we can look at it side by side. So this one will be running on 3001 and then we have our completed build on 3000. So we will be aiming to copy and mimic this functionality over here. Here straight away we have an error. So we just need to fix that. So in our app, we want to delete the logo and not import app.css like so. So now if I save, we now have our hotel app rendering and as you can see our new styles that we injected in the index.css are pulling through as you can see. So what I want to do is go into my index.tsx and in here we want to add a browser router. So here is where we will install React Router DOM. So what we need to do is install that. So if I close my terminal and then install, so npm install or npm i react router DOM and let that install. What we want to do is wrap the app in a browser router. So I'm just going to add that in now. So browser router, as you can see from react router DOM. And then we want to put the app in as a child and now save. And then if I go into my app.tsx, now we want to define the route. So on here, we have a home page as a route. We have a create route for the new hotels. And we also have a details route, which has a certain ID. So if I click on to view more information, we have a forward slash hotels forward slash ID. So this will be the ID we are pulling through from Firebase. So that is also another route. And we will also have a not found route. So if I just type in slash hot, you can see here we have a 404 page. So we will have a route for this as well. So going back to the home dashboard and in my app.tsx, what I'm going to do is first of all, delete this and we need to import routes to manage all of our routes from React Router DOM and within routes. So if I import this from React Router DOM like so, in here, we are going to specify all of our routes. So the first route we want, so route, and there are two elements that we need to pass in, which are the path and the element. So the path that I am going to declare first of all is the create path. So path equals, and then in strings slash create, and then the element is going to be equal to the create component, which we need to create. And then also we need to close off the route like so as well. And then also import the route from React Router DOM. So now if I save, it should error out saying we don't have the create on there. So if I go to slash create, as you can see, it has a, an error now. So I'm just going to do the same for all the other components. So I'll just bring them in here and paste it in. So we have four routes here. 
forward slash create will show the create component, which is the form here that we will create and send a post request to the database and update the database with a new document. We have the forward slash hotels forward slash colon ID, which will have the specific details for the hotel that we have clicked on. We have a catch all route for anything that is not specified for not found. So this is what you would do. And then you could render the 404 page that way. And then the forward slash will render the home page, which is all of the hotels that we have in our database. So what I now need to do is in my source folder, I'm going to create a new folder in here named components. And in here, I'm going to create my four components that I need. So I have a create dot tsx we have a details dot tsx a not found dot tsx and a card dot tsx as well so first off i'm going to do our react functional snippets which is this extension over here that i have which is es7 plus react redux native snippets and we can create our functional components quite easily using this so in my card.tsx i'm just going to do rfce tab and then you can see here it creates the card the same for the details so rfce the not found as well rfce and then the create as well so rfce tab and now if i save all and go onto my app what i also need to do is hook this up on the app.tsx so in my folder structure if i go into app.tsx now i just need to import these in and then we can test to see if this has all hooked up and the routing is working correctly so if i save all so the home page has the card the forward slash create has the create we don't have the hotel id at the minute so i'm just going to do another create n on there and that should have them not found. So now that the routing is complete, all we need to do now is create a navbar so we can navigate to the relevant pages.